we're in Loch Aleen here. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. And we're about to set off, looking to go to Tobermory. There's almost no wind here, but we'll see what it's like when we get out to the sound of mulp. So goodbye Loch Aleen. And up here is the entrance, or the exit for us, to the sound of mull. We've got 250 watts going in, and 2.1 knots, and there's no wind and no tide here. We're just getting to the channel here, out of Loch Aline. There is a bit of wind, and there's actually some sun over there on mull as well. Unfortunately, the wind at the moment is in the wrong direction for us. But we'll see what it's like out there. We've just left Loch Aline there. And we're into the sound of mull here. And unfortunately, we've got about eight, nine knots of wind dead ahead of us. So we're getting about 400 watts and two knots. But hopefully the wind changes, maybe after we've rounded this headland here. Well, the wind's picked up a bit. It's going up to 15 knots. We're going as close to it as possible and unfortunately it's on shore and we've got to get out past some rocks so we're keeping the motor going and then in about 15 minutes we'll turn right around the corner there once we've got around the rocks and then everything should be a lot easier well we're just going around this point here we're in the middle of the channel and the wind suddenly gone dead ahead of us and down to about five knots so we're just using the motor at the moment. We've had it on all the way. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I thought when we turned around here, the wind was going to be a beam and it would be a lovely sail in. But now it looks as if it's coming straight down the sound from there. Well, the wind's gone back to being a bit more normal, about eight knots. And we're rounding the corner. I think what we can see ahead there is the Coolin Ridge on Sky, which I'm hoping to be able to climb. We're just a little way around the point here, <clears throat> heading up towards Tobermory there, and the wind's dropped down to nothing. So we're just going purely on the torpedo at the moment. Still going about 250, 300 watts, just keeping us moving, about two or three knots. We've been sailing for the last half hour or so, and just for the last 10 minutes, it's been wonderful. It's been about 10, 15 knots, going up to seven and a half knots and that is Tobermory in there. We go around this carve island and then turn to the left and into the harbour. So this is the tip of carve island here and we're going to go to the left of that once we're past it. The wind's been blustering about and sometimes really strong like now and sometimes in different directions as well so I've put the most down and we'll probably take the sails down very soon after we go past that point. Well, we're going directly into Tobermory Harbour now. We've just gone past the island there. Got about 1,300 watts of torpedo going in. It's quite a headwind. So we're in Aros Bay here, just about half a mile from Tobermory in the same little harbour. It's very deep where we are here, it's about, know, about 10 metres, but Oscar's just going out there to see where it starts getting shallow. We had a look around in the boat, but he's just checking to make sure that we'll be okay to stay here overnight. A few other boats anchored here as well. It seems like a really nice spot. And this is Tobermory Harbour, come in just there. You don't come in that channel, which is quite shallow. Apparently even dries at very low tides. And here's the harbour. 